Hey everybody, it's Eric and I'm from the Mature Minded Gamers. Welcome to our channel. Thank you for checking out this video. This is for Recipe for Disaster. This is a new game coming out November the 4th. And yeah, you're going to run your own restaurant. You're going to hire your crew. You're going to manage this son of a gun. I love the graphics in this game. Uh, very appealing to me. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. This is a early access version. So this may have some bugs and stuff that they may patch before actual or, uh, release happens so uh, let's don't be discouraged if we run into a few here or there we're gonna start a brand new game we're gonna start with the tutorial to get started because well we need to learn how to play together right as you can see back there uh, there was multiplayer coming so that's pretty exciting all right we're gonna do uh, Eric Madden <clears throat> we got two body types a male and a female looks like you know what? Uh, I'm not too worried about this. Unless we can get a, a nice beard. There we go. That is exactly what I was looking for. Facial hair full long. Let's go a little bit uh, a little bit more on the white and dark side here. Oh, we get skills. Check this out. Okay. Pick the skills for your avatar. Excellent. So we got a fryer, grill, oven, stove, countertop, cleaning, charisma, and serving this means love skill or something that's a love skill that's a hated skill I see okay well I'm gonna be managing this but it looks like I'm gonna be also working so uh, I'm gonna be a good server right so servers important I feel like charisma is important so I only get one love skill okay let's be you know what let's be let's be charismatic Let's up our charisma. And then I get two skill points to put in. Okay. Uh, well, let's be, let's be okay at serving. And uh, let's make one of these. I'm going to be good at frying, grilling, or oven. Or the stove. I like the stove idea. Let's do the stove. So we're a good server. We're good on the stove. Okay. Level three skills. We do get a level three skill. Excellent. Okay. Well, get that stove skill up. Now that I think about it, maybe maybe we take the serving skill up. I don't know. We'll leave that at two. We'll be good at the stove at three. Uh, we need to get another level two skill now, which is cool. We could do countertop. We could do different cooking thing. Let's do cleaning at two. I think cleaning's important. You don't want no. I'll take that back. Charisma at two. And then we get to pick a hated skill. Okay. Looks like you have to, so what do we want to... You know what? Friars... I'm not a fan of Friars. We're going to hate the Friars skill. Now it looks like we're good. Check out our traits real quick. Ooh. Wow, there's a lot more customization than I would have ever guessed. Okay, so trait picks left. Two trait points left. One. You be an animal lover. Loves animals, so cooking meat ingredients will result in a loss of quality. Well, that's not a good trait. I mean, I'm an animal lover, but I still like to eat. Okay, annoying tends to annoy others, resulting in increased stress for nearby employees. Counters inspiring. Carnivore. Connected. Receives a discount on ordered ingredients. Ooh, I feel like that's important. That takes up... Oh, no, now I have to pick a negative trait. You won't be able to serve. Well, that's not good. Lazy. Short fuse. I think that's what I go with. If I'm going to pick the two and be a genius, I got to have a short trait. We're going to be an angry genius. There we go. Okay. Save. And we're ready to roll. Here we go. First step to mastery. The big day has come. Is the food industry really your calling? The pressure will be great, but hopefully you'll be able to handle it. Click and drag this panel to move it around. Yep, WSAD, wheel mouse, very simple. Rotate the camera, Q and E. Okay. Place is a mess. Before doing anything else, select every bit of trash and get rid of it, including that wall section in the middle that sticks out like a sore thumb. You have a bunch of tools at the top of the UI. You can hide walls with a Z if you need a better view. Okay, cool. So take out the trash. Okay, well, it told us to move this window. Let's do that. So, uh, pick that up. 
right click. Oh, there we go. So we're going to have to get a tool for this. Let's see. Demolish. There we go. Okay, now let's scroll around here. Okay, I think we got everything now. Take out the trash. Oh, I didn't see this. There we go. Okay, now we're pretty spiffy. Let's go. Now that the place isn't so disgusting, we can get to work. On the build menu, do you see a chair icon? That's the furniture tab. And one with the stove icon is the application tab. Let's add some tables and chairs for the customers. Okay, so furniture's right here. Ooh, we got some fancy dining. What's this thing the two mean? Adds an ambient modifier of negative two and a radius of two. Second hand, huh? Wow. Well, we don't want to do that. So place a table with a few chairs. Common table. This guy's a fancy table. Look at that, 110. How much money we got here? 2,015. That's a unique number. I guess we demolished that wall. Is why it makes sense. Okay. Um. Well, fancy wooden table or just a fancy table. Let's see. Same price. Look at a fancy wooden table. Perfect. Oh wait, I was almost just put one down. I got two down. Okay. Let's uh, add... It says some tables and chairs, so I'm probably alright. Alright. Fancy wooden table. Let's add some fancy wooden chairs of some sort. Or booth seat. Hey, Boos. Let's see. Well, the table's not really long enough, though. Hmm. Well, I don't love that. If the table was bigger, I could do three, and then I'd put three tables. And I could probably bunch them up. I don't think I want to do that yet, though. Let's just go with some basic wooden chairs here. I love that auto rotates them for you. That's awesome. Simple things, right? Simple things that make these games awesome. Okay. A deep fryer is a good starting appliance. When placing an object, you can use R to rotate it. Cool, right? It would be cool if I was into deep frying, but I'm not. I'm not. I took... I didn't like the deep fryer. Negative five. I want that to be around anything, huh? Okay, so this is our kitchen. So it said, whoops, that was the, the E button. I want the R button. There's the deep fryer. I'm very disappointed this is my first one I have to use here. Let's space it out a little bit. I got in my head I'm gonna put a trash can beside this. We'll see. We're gonna put it in there. On the build menu do you see a painting icon? That's the decoration tab. You might want to think about surrounding customer tables with attractive paintings and fresh flowers instead of deep fryers splashing their oil, hot oil everywhere. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright. So we're looking for painting icon. I don't see that. Oh, there it is. Oh, napkin holder. That's cute. Vase. Okay. thought I was looking for wall paints, though. Let's see. Actually, I don't see any wall paints. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Attractive paintings. Oh, not paint. Paintings. I gotta read better. Okay. That makes more sense. I like a potted plant. That's a big potted plant though, but I do like it. Look at that. It looks good. Drop a potted plant there. I like I like symmetry too, so I'm gonna drop it over to this side. Boom! Okay. Yellow star icon in the top right is the ambience overlay. This thing? Okay. Uh, which tells you how appealing and disgusting different areas of your restaurant are. The greener the hue, the better. The vibe. Turn on the amb ambience overlay. Okay. You need ingredients to make your dishes and your storage. It is quite empty. Click on the food storage icon at the bottom and request a delivery for some ingredients. 
order 10 chicken wings. Apparently that kind of a place, huh? You need ingredients to make your dishes and store it. I just did that. Okay. You don't need to look at ingredients all day, right? You can close this panel by clicking the X button in the top right. It's now time to open the restaurant. When you're ready, hit the open button in the top right. Okay, so top right, be over here, open. It's now time to open the restaurant when you're ready. Oh, I just did that. See the chef portrait at the top. That is your head chef. There he is, Chef Mike. All right now you're alone, so get used to doing everything by yourself. Click the portrait to select them, or double click to open their character panel, which provides a summary of skills and thoughts. We'll get to those later. From now on, the head chef is alone, and you really don't want to have to be able to select every little task. Time to set up some automation. Click on the appliances and tables that you have placed and use the icon to assign the head chef to them. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Done. Dirty restaurant will not make your customers mad, but it will also will not only make them mad, but also increase the likelihood of fires in the kitchen. Open the cleaning areas editor. Cleaning areas editor. Let's see. Where where is the cleaning area editor? Down here. There it is. Dirty restaurant. Yes, we just did that. To clean your restaurant, you need to create cleaning areas. To create them, create. Click the create button, the green one. In the top center of the screen and then drag a rectangle. Okay. So clean. There you go. Chef Mike's doing it all. Sure, you want your team to work hard, but they also need to stay healthy. The employee portraits at the top of the screen contain an employee stamina meter and their break button. Do not let your staff get exhausted, otherwise their performance will suffer. Okay, so let's look at this again. So, at the top of the screen, employee portrait. I don't see an employee por portrait. This maybe? I don't know. Can you complete this simple task? I believe in you. If you want to hurry things up, you can fast forward. Time in the bottom right. Go, go, go. There are two tables, okay. I like doing it on your own, huh, Mike? Here we go. You've done everything right so far, so I think you're ready for a real challenge. It's time to provide Prove that your experience goes beyond watching irate chefs shouting at helpless restaurant owners on reality TV. Congrats, you have completed the tutorial, or the objectives required to proceed to the next level. Alright, well, uh, next level I believe. Excellent, so, so far I like it. It's got uh, a lot more uh, small touches than some of the other games of this genre that i played. I like that you have to like set cleaning areas and prioritize different tasks to different people. All right, let's move it on here. You know how to handle a couple of customers, but working alone with a pre-made menu will only get you so far. Time to customize your menu and hire some employees. One small tip, maybe having a fryer in the middle of the dining room isn't the best idea. Just saying. Let's open the restaurant and get started. If you ever need to pause time, get your bearings. I don't really want to open the restaurant with the fryer in the middle. Why? Why is that? I, I don't even know. Can we move this. Duplicate. Move. There we go. There we go. It looks better. Okay. Now we need to open the restaurant. Got that done. Hire at least two employees. Okay. 
figure this out. Staff. Cap against Doug. Okay, what you got here, Doug? Let's move this out of the way. He likes the stove. Okay. He doesn't like the fryer. I don't like the fryer either, but either buddy. So we know what we can't do that. They don't like the fryer. Why well, nobody likes the fryer? There we go. There's my fry master, Bradley Weaver. Doesn't like serving. That's fine. That's fine. I like to serve. This is this is the perfect opposite of me. This guy is my boy right here. He's hired. What else we got? I need another person. I don't know what I'm gonna have you do though. Uh no. Wow. Uh, her stats are amazing, Wendy. Wow. Okay, three on the grill, three on the countertops. Not bad there. Welcome to the team, Naomi. Okay, so we got our people. Maybe Jake has a problem with Emily because she is lazy. Didn't you hear that Michael quit two hours ago? Inspect each of your employees' character sheets to see their stress meter and thoughts. You can keep an eye on each employee's stress, also on their portrait in the top center of the screen. New request. New request. I thought they had fried chicken wings in the menu. They have nothing to eat in this place. Ah, I screwed up. Let's get some food in here before we get in trouble. Nope, I'm still not there. Where's the food? Map, uh, not menu editor. Recipe, nope. Food storage? There it is, okay. Oh, okay, so we have a lot of ingredients to pick from here. Take five eggs. at all what I expected to run into here. I screwed up with those eggs. Well. Where were the chicken wings? The brass chicken wings, there they are. Might be good for now, I guess. Alright. So now that we may add another table, it looks like.
All right, so now we need to add a grill. There you go. Add chicken wings to deep fryer action. Recipe editor. Oh, we haven't done this yet. Okay. We're going to call them MMG Wings. Deep frying action. Where's that at? There we go. What the meat category? I don't know if I see the meat category here. Drag the chicken wing ingredient to the deep fryer. Where is the meat fryer? Drag and drop ingredients. So where's this meat? Skills, tags, allergens, nope, nope, and nope. Over here? There we go, maybe? There we go, excellent, okay. You can now change the appearance of your dish by clicking the brown arrow pointing downward on the plate. And downward on the plate, it action. Now you just need to save your recipe. Okay, so you can now change the appearance of your dish by clicking the down brown arrow pointing down on the plated action. Plated action. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that you can make your own recipe. It looks like I can add more ingredients. Like, uh, let's see if there's any spice. Can we spice this up? It's very miscellaneous. Here we go. Alright, this is cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, in the menu editor, you can change the price of a dish you just created. So let's let's lower the price a bit to tempt new customers. Okay, so in the menu editor, so I think we need to close this. Uh, save and close. Now we just need to go to the menu editor and see. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the wings. There we go. So, five dollars good? Now that you are paying for extra help, you'll need to make sure everyone is assigned to the correct appliances and tables. Don't forget about the personalities. Always consider the following. What do they love? What do they hate? And what is the best for business? Tip, top, or top tip, adding more than one person to an appliance or table will make your life a lot easier. Trust me. Efficiency is key. Assign at least two team members to the same appliance. Okay, now let's look at our team members here. So we got this one. Uh, let's see, staff. Nope, how do I sign there? Duplicate, duplicate. No, I don't want to do any of that. I want to sign. Then do we move it? I think so. What's the problem here?
Okay, you do just have to be fly for some reason. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Now I get it. So I think this guy was a good fryer. Actually, I think he was a better fryer than me. She is good at the grill and serving. Put her out here on the table. Go. There we go. Okay, I get it now. Now it's working. We'll click off action, make him primary. There we go. Oh, oh, sorry, people. Hold on. If necessary, you can manually interact with an appliance or table by selecting any employee and right-clicking on the objective. The object. Most of the time, you can trust the AI, but you, occasionally you'll find manual intervention will be required. I know there was a lot to learn, so prove you've been paying attention and serve some customers. All right, we should get that right. And look at all the customers we got waiting outside. Take care of this. I mean, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Resume. Now that customers have started move, arriving, you may want to learn more about them. Click on the individual to learn more. Okay. Ate soy sauce, loves fried food. Perfect. It's what we'd specialize in. Have you noticed those stars in the bottom? The review panel is your greatest ally, and you'll find that the fastest way to glory is to listen and react. Does nobody like dishes on the menu? Are people complaining about the taste and decoration? Is the waiter slower than a turtle? Swimming in uh, triacle? Request will let you know exactly what customers want and expect from a restaurant in this neighborhood. Cool. So why would a customer choose your place instead of the one next door? Popularity, of course. The higher your customer rate experience, the greater the restaurant's popularity will grow. Everything seems to be in place, but you don't have much time to turn tables on this one. Look at the customer request in the review panel and create something new to increase your restaurant's popularity. Create a new recipe in response to customer request. Okay. Place could look better. Wings were delicious. Okay, 
Okay, so I think I need to spruce this place up a little bit. anybody to clean, did I? Happy about how dirty it was. That's hilarious. Okay, here she comes. She went out to clean finally. Trying to get these four seats is trickier enough, huh? Ooh. High rates. Was disgusting. What? Oh, what happened? I don't know if anybody cleaned the bathroom, so I, we gotta fix that. Wish they had grilled beef sirloin in the menu. Grilled beef sirloin, huh? Ironically, I think I even have the beef in stock. Recipe adder, I believe. New recipe. Grilled MMG steak. Okay, now we need to pick the meat.
Alright. That's all we had to do now. good on the ingredients oh we got it done there we go all right we finished it up congrats you have completed the objectives required to proceed to the next level next level we go welcome first of all thank you for joining us on this journey we really appreciate your support at this current stage of your relaxers you had the opportunity to play through the first few levels of the campaign each stage will have its own set of objectives for you to complete. Be sure to check out the tutorial if you haven't already, or get in touch over on Discord if you have any other questions. Perfect. All right, so we have completed the tutorial. Next up, looks like Sloppy Joe's The Prologue. Excited, an unexpected guest. I'm going to save that for the next video, though. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that follow and like button, and uh, have yourself a great day.